In today's video, we're going to learn how to create catchy thumbnails like this from scratch. No previous skills needed. You can just follow my steps and I will not even use my Photoshop. I will just use a free Photoshop version that is existed into the browser directly. So without any further ado, let's dig into business. I want you to imagine this. You have just uploaded a masterpiece, pouring your heart and soul into creating the most incredible video ever. But wait, something is missing. Your videos isn't getting the views it deserves. It's probably because you put all the effort into the content itself and you forgot something the packaging of the video which is the thumbnail and the title whether you are a vlogger gamer or any content creator video thumbnail is your gate to success in youtube believe me guys this is my second youtube channel and the key success for this channel is crafting great thumbnails of course in addition to the valuable content you find here so firstly let me just tell you what makes a good thumbnail thumbnail it's not only that it looks good there are some criteria in a good thumbnail firstly we need the thumbnail to arouse curiosity to bring a curiosity gap into the mind of your audience and they want to fulfill it so for example here in this thumbnail i'm targeting people that want to create this effect so here is before and here is after and that is exactly what you expect to learn in the video so you need to create curiosity gap in addition to the title of course and then you can fill this gap with your valuable content in the video the second point is you need to put a clear and direct message because when you see thumbnails you will probably see it in this size very tiny size in your browser or in your mobile phone so for example this thumbnail example is not good it's a bad thumbnail why because it has a lot of elements and you need to put some effort to understand what is going on in this video so when i changed this thumbnail to this one more direct and straightforward message the views in this video has drastically changed as you can see this is exactly when i decided to change the thumbnail so clear thumbnail is a very crucial thing the last point I want to talk about is that you want to create catchy contrasty thumbnails using contrasty colors, hot and cold colors, contrast in sizes. So I have my big face here, contrast in color and putting some special effects and light effects to just make it pop you know to grab attention to the visual all right enough talking and let's see how can we create this thumbnail from scratch so let's go so if you have photoshop that would be great you can follow along with me directly but if you don't have photoshop and you don't want to buy it or something you can go to a website that is called photopia and it's basically a cloud photoshop so you can use it from anywhere from the browser directly so let's open photopia.com and i'll leave its link in the description okay so let's start by creating a new project from here and let's name it thumbnail and the dimensions will be 1920 by 1080 b you can make it smaller and then press create very cool it's basically like a mini version of photoshop or something but it's enough if you want to create thumbnails like what i've done okay so let's start by getting my image into the canvas this one and i want to tell you a tip here choosing the right images for your thumbnails is a very crucial thing guys because you know when you have some reaction in this image uh, as you can see right now my image is well lit and it has dynamic lighting the, the light coming from the right and there are shadows and it's basically a catchy image and that is what we want to have if we want to grab attention to your images okay so you need to take good images for your thumbnails that's a big thing and by the way if you want to remove the background without using this photoshop version you can go to adobe express the link will be in the description and then let's scroll to this uh remove background section press on it 
and just upload your image and it will take some time to remove the background for you in a second so you don't have to put a lot of effort here as you can see very very good selection and then let's download it and we can just drag it and put it into Photobia very nice let's make it bigger I guess to zoom in the reaction of my face is a very good idea then press enter and then if we want to remove this we can simply create a mask from here press on this button and using the brush we can make it right click to make the brush bigger and then with the black color from here we can remove these parts now let's bring a background for this image and for this I chose this background for YouTube assuming that is something related to YouTube you know so you you need to put something related to the content as well as something that is not distracting the viewer from the main message then if you want to make the image bigger you can just press here transform controllers and make it bigger now let's darken the background using some adjustments if you don't find this adjustment panel you can find it from here from here window and adjustment very nice so let's create curves adjustment layer and let's make the background a little bit dark because we want it to not grab attention to the eye and then let's make the image pop more and we will do this by creating a new layer from here and using the, so the brush, let's right click, bring the soft rounded brush, make it a little bit bigger. And let's choose some color, some orangey, maybe some color like this from the background and let's make it brighter. Press OK and we can make the brush bigger. And let's paint some glow effects around the image like this. This will make the image pop more and let's change the blending mode into screen. Very, very nice. Now we can emphasize this glow effect using a new layer and changing this color to a very bright color like this and also change the blending mode into screen and using the same soft rounded brush I will put like this some touches very very nice now let's create some inner glows because of course these highlights should cast some lights into the image itself so how can we do this i will basically right click into the image press into blending options and then let's go to inner glow from here and let's choose some bright orangey color from here something like like this let's make it somehow bright and press ok and let's increase the size for the glow like this very nice maybe we can decrease the, the opacity and another thing I like to add is a stroke an outer stroke so let's go to stroke and let's change this color into white and I will show you a second why I make this and then press OK maybe we can leave it as is and then press OK and now let's press into this arrow and into the effects I will right click press create layers and by doing so I'm just extracting these effects into separate layers so that I can mask it and control it separately so let's start with the stroke this one I will create a mask from here and using the brush solid color and let's bring the black and white colors from here I'll press on this and then let's just remove with the black color remove this part very very nice now let's bring this soft rounded brush and let's just fade these edges and what it will do is this bright spot gives you the effect of uh, lights you know 
So let's remove it like this and let's remove the effect from here as well. Very, very nice. So let's see, here is before and here is after. Very subtle, but it looks good. Now let's go to this inner glow effect and let's control it using the masks. So let's create a mask and maybe we can decrease the flow of the brush, which is the intensity of the brush. And let's fade it more like this because I don't want the effect to be exaggerated because it will not be, uh, it will not look professional, you know? I don't like this area, so let's make it bigger. I will select all these layers by pressing shift, pressing into the first one, and then pressing shift and pressing into the last one. And then pressing Alt Control T in Photobia, and if you are in Photoshop, you will just press Control T, and let's make the image bigger like this and then press enter one last thing we can do in the image is to create another glow effect by choosing the same color uh, for this orangey color but saturated one and of course in a new layer with the soft turned brush i will just and increase the flow i'll just put a touch like this and then let's just toggle between the white and yellow. And with the white color, I will make the brush small like this. And then I will put another touch into the center of the, the first one. And let's change this blending mode of the layer into screen. And let's put it somewhere here. It gives us this glowy effect, you know? but we need to make it smaller so let's press alt control t and we can make it small like this and maybe press shift to change its shape like this to put it somewhere here for example press alt and shift to change its orientation and then press enter maybe we can take another one by pressing Alt and dragging to create another copy. Oops, we have created multiple copies. So let's put this here. And pressing Alt Control T, I will rotate it and maybe put it right here. Maybe uh, reduce the opacity or something. Quick pause, if you are interested in creating amazing visuals like this step by step, I have good news for you. Because my premium course, The Ultimate Guide to Photo Manipulation is now released and you can find it in the link in the description. In this course, I have explained all these projects in details. We have explained everything from putting images together, correcting lightness values, correcting saturation, correcting colors, and we have talked about how to paint light and shadow, how to put atmosphere effect and adding the last final grading and color effects. You will find also the stock images used, the PSD files and all the brushes used into the tutorials. So if you want to take your photo manipulation skills to the next level, you are in the right place. The link in the description and let's get back to the video. Now we can sharpen the image more because it looks somehow blurred. So let's go to filter and sharpen and smart sharp. And then let's increase the sharpness as you can see. Not so much. And press OK. Let's see here is before and here is after. So let's go to the next thing which is the text. So let's firstly put everything related to my image into a group by pressing into this layer and pressing shift and pressing into the top layer and then press control G. So now we can shift it a little bit to the right. Very nice. Now it's time to put the text. So for this, I will grab this uh, text tool and then let's click anywhere like this and let's write master thumbnails, okay? So let's start with master, let's make it bigger. I will do all the effects that I want into this text and then I will duplicate it, okay? So let's make this uh, word bigger, press enter. And then let's tweak the shape or the letters a little bit. So let's go to uh, this paragraph or character window 
and let's change or lower the tracking which is basically the distance between the letters okay so something like this i want it to be like contracted this will give me the flexibility to make it bigger like this very good and now it's time to play with its style and the way we will do this by pressing right click and pressing into blending options very nice let's start by gradient overlay and for this one i will choose maybe some bright gray something like this and then press ok and next let's go to this stain effect and let's change this into normal you can play around with these styles and get whatever style that you want but for me i will just choose this white and increase the opacity reduce the size so it's basically this you know this effect that you see in the text i will uh, we can change it by pressing into the text and just playing around until you get, you get satisfied okay so something maybe something like this is good maybe we can decrease the opacity very nice and next we can create a drop shadow from here but i will reduce the size and will increase the opacity and then i can change uh, the position of this, this shadow by dragging it like this very very nice we can create also a new struct to create like this 3d effect so i will change its color to something like dark gray like this and maybe make it somehow bigger and let's get back to the shadow and maybe we can put it like this now let's press ok and then i can duplicate this layer by pressing alt and dragging it by pressing shift it will maintain the same it will move only vertically like this okay so i will put it here and let's double click on it and let's change this to some nails very very nice now let's change the color of this so let's go to effects and let's go to gradient overlay double click on it and let's change this for this we can choose some orangey color like this and some yellowish so we can make it brighter if we want and then press ok very nice let's remove this s maybe we can name it master thumbnail design so let's change this into design and we can bring some cool icons related to the thumbnail uh, title or topic so for this i got this cool emoji and this photoshop icon so let's bring them and put them here and then let's make this smaller by pressing alt ctrl t and let's put it right here very nice i want the whole typography part to be like a complete unit okay and let's go to photoshop icon let's press alt ctrl t and we can maybe put it right here rotate it a little bit and put it right here very nice let's put some effects into this emoji by pressing double click on it to bring the blending options and creating a drop shadow and we can change this shadow orientation to be like this and maybe we can make it a little bit soft like this that's enough press ok and let's put it right here and for the photoshop icon let's firstly make this text bigger like this to interfere with the icon and let's bring this icon right here and we can put some effects on it so right double click let's create firstly a stroke with a blue with a white color next we can create inner glow with some bluish light like this press ok maybe we can decrease the size a little bit and we can create also 
an outer glow but with the same blue color like this press ok increase its size maybe opacity very nice press ok and now we want something to contain all this text part so we can do this by simply creating a rectangle from here so let's create a rectangle like this and we can tweak it from this tool which is direct selection tool I will right click and choose direct selection and let's select this point and let's tweak it like this very very simple let's see that's cool let's bring everything related to text into a group selecting all the layers and pressing ctrl g very nice now it's a solid unit so we can make it bigger if we want so let's press alt ctrl t to make it bigger and one final thing i like to do is to put some glow touches into the whole overall uh, design i do this by creating a new layer above everything and changing its blending mode into screen and then let's bring the soft rounded brush <clears throat> let's make it big like this and maybe we can decrease the flow of the brush and then i will pick some color for example let's pick this blue color and let's paint some glow effect in these areas you know and uh, and uh, some other glow effects into the text from here maybe we can pick this orange color and put some glow effects here let's pick this um, blue color from here and let's create some glow effects other reddish glow effects from here and maybe some magenta from here create some moody glow effects like this very very nice now one final thing into is to create curves adjustment layer and let's make the whole image darker and then let's paint over the important areas okay with black so let's get black color here and let's make the brush bigger and let's paint with a, a high flow 100% flow and now what I'm doing basically is to darken the edges okay and to put the attention only the important things like this okay very nice now our design is complete so if we want to save it we will just go to file and save as PSD and put it into anywhere you want and after this if you want to export it as a PNG or JPG you can just export it with any size that you want and then save it and that's it so today's thumbnail design was an example for maybe some gaming channels exotic channels you know you don't have to create like thumbnails like this all the time but this was just an example but the key thing here is to understand the concepts that make a good thumbnail okay think about creating curiosity gap think about being clear and direct and you can even take a screenshot from the YouTube main feed and you can test the final image into the, the screenshot and see if it's going to work or not tweak it a little bit until you are satisfied the last thing create contrasty vivid colors thumbnails that will grab attention to the viewer so yeah i hope you found a good value in this video if you did please hit the like button and subscribe to get notified about the future content peace